Hi everybody and welcome to General Mechanics. Um, I'm going to do a different video for you guys today. I'm going to do a what's in the box video. Uh, a friend of mine was uh, going through his uh, garage and um, he was basically chucking uh, loads of stuff out. Uh, when I went round there I I seen a lot of what he was chucking out and I thought well a lot of that is, is still got some good to it. Uh, you know some use to it. So I asked him if I could um, have a dig through and help myself, and he said, yeah, no problem. So uh, I was digging through, so I just put some things in this box. I haven't actually properly looked at them yet uh, since I put them in the box uh, over a week ago. Uh, I was waiting to do the video for you guys. Um, so we'll have a look and see what we got. Um, first things first, we've got a uh, one of those uh, tow belts uh, for your modified cars. So sure we can put that to some use in some uh, later videos or it might uh, come up in the description uh, if anyone wants it um, let me know in the description if you want it so that's a tow strap there uh, what else have we got in here the second thing ah we've got an oil uh, book here that he was going to throw out uh, tells us what oil goes in what car um, all different makes and models, BMW, uh, Fords, for me it's even got a freaking, is that a Lancia Delta? Yeah, I think it is, it's got a Lancia Delta in it, so there you go, that's a, a good oil guide there, that'll come in handy for later videos. Our third thing, we've got some uh, CV, uh, Lithium Molly Grease or Lith Molly Grease, something like that. Let's see how much we've got in here. Oh, it's still got a bit in it. Uh, coming handy for some things. Don't necessarily look like there's enough there for drive shaft. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Might better get one, one drive shaft out of that. And you only usually do one, especially if you're only changing a boot. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got. Uh, oh, ah, yeah, this is quite good. This is uh, one of those Dremel sets that he didn't want anymore. And uh, look how much stuff's in there. It's got loads in it still. It's got all the cutting discs. It's got some sandpaper. It's got some small sandpaper uh, sandpaper bits to it. Uh, drills, brushes, absolutely everything. And an instruction manual as well, which is quite good. So that'll come in handy for some stuff. I'm sure it will. Uh, I might give some of it away as well, because I have got quite a lot of stuff. So I might put a little bundle together for someone. Um... Actually, I haven't looked in this one yet. I really don't know what it is. I just picked it up. So, uh, let's have a look together, shall we, guys? Oh, we've got some more Dremel bits. Blinking, Nora. Got loads. Cutting disc, freaking another cutting disc there. Absolutely everything. Oh, my God, we've got whole packs of cutting discs there. And more there, look, miniature ones. Blinking, Nora. They'll last a while, that's for sure. Blinking, hell. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. What else have we got here? Ah, now this. <laughs> this is an interesting one. This is a Bosch uh, air mass sensor. Uh, it's for a Peugeot that he was throwing out. Um, thought I'd just uh, put it in the box to show you guys. Um, but that's how big they are. Blinking huge, isn't they? Absolutely huge. We've got some... Uh, light bulbs i think this is an unused box as well yeah i think it's unused it feels unused let's have a look thinking yeah unused box of lights <laughs> he must have just had so much stuff that he felt he didn't need this anymore thinking Nora, nice what else have we got going on here oh yeah i've got some uh 2k uh, color as well for a gun never been used that's all still in there so that might appear in some videos uh, when I do eventually get my compressor and uh, spray gun uh, for when we're learning so we've already got some color there and I think as well we've got another tin here what's this one uh, oh, it's 2k direct gloss uh, blue so this is a blue paint um, so again, this uh, come in handy when we're doing the uh, spray gun. We'll have a go ourselves. So we've already got some there. I've uh, got another 
little box here, Citroen Peugeot. Let's see what's in there, I don't actually know. It's going to be so interesting, most probably. Oh, and it is a... Some sort of sensor. I'm not quite sure what it does. Uh, might be an early air mass sensor, because it does look quite old, the box. Might even be a very old map sensor. Not too sure on that one. I'll have to look into that. Uh, we've got some uh, paint stripper here. Believe it or not, this is actually virtually full. Um, you just probably weren't going to use it, so it's probably easier just to put it in the bin. Uh, but that'll come in handy for us. We'll use a lot of that. Oh, here we go. This is going. This is interesting. We've got an OBD2 uh, diagnostic and fault codes. So we've got every single code in here. So I'd imagine this will have codes for the vast majority of cars, power steering, Fords, we've got Fords, uh, GM, uh, what else we got here then? There you go, it's the Honda, Honda Acura. Uh, Acura, by the way, is what they call the Hondas in America. Uh, same car, but just branded differently. Um... Has it got Honda Civic in there? Oh, it's got Jaguar as well. Blinking, oh. Kia. God, it's got everything. That's a nice little code book. Moving on. What else have we got here? Ah, yes. We've got a Dremel uh, that he was throwing out. Uh, believe it or not, this one's a working one as well. Um, variable speed. Um, he said he doesn't use them anymore, so... We've now got a Dremel. That'll be putting put to some good use, so I would imagine over some uh, you know some new videos that we'll be doing soon. And what else we got? Ah yes, we've got a Castrol Edge um, oil guide here. Uh, again, this tells us what oil goes in what cars. Absolutely amazing. Um, I like that a lot. That is really, really good. And believe it or not, I think a lot of it all just says Castrol Edge. They like Castrol Edge, I'm imagining. Ah, uh, now this one I did look at, because I had to, because I had to find the, the box it was in. Uh, this is an early Dremel. Uh, as you can see, it's a proper hefty one. Um, with the box that turns the speed up and down. Uh, you can plug other stuff into it as well. I'm not quite sure what. Uh, if anyone knows, uh, please, you know, sort of message me and tell me what, you know, other stuff it does. It's got a positive and negative there. So I haven't had a chance to really look at that yet. Uh, but I will do at some point. But just amazing, isn't it, really, that, you know, how reliant we are now on battery power and all that. But, you know, back in the day, you were still able to do it even with this sort of stuff. Absolutely amazing. I'd probably prefer this over the battery powered stuff, to be honest with you. Oh, this is, you're going to like this. These are half full uh, Maguire's uh, cleaning products. We have a deep uh, crystal system polish, and we have a deep crystal system Canuba wax here. Um, so that will come in handy, uh, especially when I'm polishing the Mrs. car. Um, again, something that he doesn't use anymore, and he was just going to put in the bin. But again, half full, come in handy. What else have we got there? We've got a Santa Pod, uh, old Santa Pod uh, sticker here, or some sort of poster. Yeah, it's a poster. As you can see, it's quite nice. That'll go up in the man room. I like all this sort of stuff. And uh, what else have we got? We've got another bulb. Just picked up another bulb for some reason. Don't know why. And off. Nearly final thing. We've got some of these uh, boy racery sort of bolts here. I'd imagine it's just to pretty things up. Probably some sort of replacement bolt. I'm not quite sure. Um, all the bolts are there, so they might come in handy for something. Don't quite know what, but I'm sure we'll think of something. And the very last thing, which I think is going to look absolutely nice in the man room, is a metal. Uh, picture of a uh, Skyline uh, GTR 
Um, I might even put this up for grabs as well uh, on the uh, channel. It does look really nice. I'll give it a polish up and uh, I'll, I'll think what to do with it. I'll either put it in the man room or I'm going to give it to one of you guys out there. Um, so I do like uh, giving stuff away as well. Uh, giving and receiving and all that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, what's in the box video. Uh, this is General Mechanic, signing out.